Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are enjoying the holiday and now your studies also have started. So are you doing your studies? Yes, very good. Every day you have to do your studies, okay? Don't trouble your parents. Sit for your studies, okay? Now, I don't need now to introduce myself as you all know me who I am. What is my name? Correct. So today also we are going to do math session, okay? In the last session, we learnt geometrical figures in chapter 1. Now, today we are going to start number work. That is chapter number 2, number work. But before starting the chapter number 2, number work, we are going to do an introduction of two-digit number. You all know two-digit numbers, correct? Like 18. 29, 97, 92, they are all two digit number. 9, 8, 7, 0, these are all one digit number. So you, now you know what are two digit number. To start with, we are going to first start the two digit number writing words. The numbers given in figures. Now let us see what number comes for us. Yes, number 26. Now, when we read, we say 2, 6, 26. But when we write number in words, we write as 20 spelling and 6 spelling. That is T W E N T Y 20 S I X 6. It is 26. Now, when we say 2, 6, 26. 2, 6 means we, doesn't, we don't write 2 spelling and we don't write 6 spelling. We write as 26 spelling. Okay. We write 26 spelling. That is T W E N T Y 20 S I X 6. 26. Now the next number. The next number is 33. Now again here we say as 3, 3, 33. Okay. How we read it? 3, 3, 33. But while writing, do we write as 3, 3? No. We write as T H I R T Y 30. T H R double E 3. That is 33. The spelling of 33 is T H I R T Y 30 T H R double E 3 that is 33. Now, what is this? Which number? Yes, number 46. Which number? Number 46. Now, how we say this number? 4, 6, 46. But while writing, we are not going to write as 4, 6, spelling. We are going to write as F-O-R-T-Y 46. Now here many children do mistake. When they write 40 spelling, many children use U. F-O-U-R-T-Y. But that is a wrong spelling. You do, we should not use U in spelling of 40. Okay. 40 spelling is F-O-R-T-Y and 6 spelling is S-I-X-6. So what it, what it becomes? 46. Now let us see what number is coming on the way. Yes, number 61. Now here we say the number 6161. But are we going to write? While writing in words, are we going to write six spelling and one spelling? No. We are going to write as S-I-X-6-T-Y-60-O-N-E-1. 61. What is the spelling of 61? S-I-X-6-T-Y-60 spelling and O-N-E-1. What it becomes? 61. Now let us see what is the next number. Number 99. Nine. 99 nine, nine, 
how we say 9999 so while writing should we use nine spelling and again nine spelling then it will become 99 no na we will write 99 spelling that is n i n e t y 90 n i n e 9 here also many children make a mistake in writing 90 spelling they write as n i n t y that is wrong first you will write nine spelling that is n i n e then you will write t y 90 and then we are going to write nine spelling so it becomes 99 now we are going to write figures the number given in words we are going to write figures the number given in words here it is given the number is given in words we are going to write the figures so let us read e i g h t double e n 18 what is the spelling e i g h t double e n 18 now you all know how we have to write 18 correct how we will write 18 1 8 18 now how we say 1 8 but when we say 1 8 do we write the spelling of 1 and 8 no we have to write 18 spelling e i g h t w e n 18 okay now next 67 read it s i x t y 60 S E B E N seven. That is sixty seven. How we are going to write sixty seven? Like six seven. So six seven becomes sixty seven. How we read six seven sixty seven? But while writing, we will not write the spelling of six seven. We are going to write as sixty seven. That is the spelling of sixty and the spelling of seven. Now read F I F T Y fifty F O U R four fifty four. How we are going to write fifty four? Five four fifty four. Here also we say as five four. Five four means we will not write the spelling of five and four. We are going to write the spelling of fifty and four. So it becomes. Fifty-four. Now read S E V E N T Y seventy T W O two. Read again S E V E N T Y seventy T W O two. What? What it becomes? Comes seventy-two. How we'll read it? Seven to seventy-two. But while writing, we are not going to write seven two. We are going to write seventy two. Okay. N I N E T Y ninety T W O two ninety two. Here also we are going to write as nine two ninety two. We are not going to write nine spelling and two spelling. We are going to write. 90 spelling and two spelling so it becomes 92 now we saw two digit number now introducing 100 as you all know what 100 is and how it is written in numbers 100 is written as 100 in fig in uh, figures We wrote as one zero zero, but in words, how we'll write H U N D R E D hundred. What is the spelling of hundred? H U N D R E D hundred. Now see, Sam has one hundred candies. Now, hundred can be said in many different ways. Okay, this is not like every time hundred. If we say so, we have to use the word only hundred. 
okay like sam has 100 candies see how sam is happy to have 100 candies so the term 100 means he has 100 candies okay how many candies sam has sam has 100 candies so 100 is also said as 100 nandu scored a century now nandu scored a century does the word century means? What does the word century means? A century has a hundred units. Means a century is also written as hundred. Nandu scored a century. Means Nandu scored hundred ranks or hundred scores or hundred runs. Okay, so a century has a hundred units. Now here. See on your screen, what is this? Yes, they are 10 rupee coin. Okay, they are 10 rupees coin. Now let us count how many 10 rupees coin we are having. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many coins? 10. 10 10 rupees coin okay now we will do counting of tens 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 how many coins 100 how many rupees we are having we are having 100 rupees that means 10 tens are also 100 okay we were having 10 coins of 10 rupees that means 10 tens are also 100 now here what you can see on your screen yes it is a 20 rupee note let us count the 20 rupee note 1 2 3 4, 5. How many notes we are having? We are having 520 rupees. Now let us do counting by 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Correct. How much? 100 rupees. So 5 note of 20 rupees make 100 rupees. That is 100 rupees. 5 note of 20 rupees make how many rupees? 100 rupees that is 100 rupees. Now we will learn introduction to whole hundreds or we can say hundreds. Okay. Now let us see. See on your screen what you can see? Yes. Smileys. Lots of smileys. Yes. See one more smiley came. Now let us count the smiley. Yes. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many smileys? 9. Now, if I add one more smiley, if I add one more smiley, how much it becomes? Shall we count it again? Okay. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 9 smileys and 1 smiley together make 10 smileys. How many smileys? 10 smileys. Now here, see what are this? Colorful stars. In one sheet, let us count how many stars are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many stars? Yes, 10 stars. How many stars? 10 stars. So, if in one sheet there are 10 stars, let us count all the sheet. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So how many sheets are there? 10. That means a group of 10 things is, or is called a tens. A group of 10 things is called a tens. A group of 10 things is called a tens. Correct. Now, 99. Now, if we add 99 plus 1, how much it will become? 99 is the biggest two digit number. Okay. And you know which is the smallest two digit number? Yes. 10 is the smallest two digit number. And 99 is the biggest two digit number. Now when we add 1 to it, what do we get? We get the three digit number. That is number 100. What we get? We get the three digit number. That is number 100. Now, with this, we finish this session of number work part 1. In the next session, we will continue. Now, in the previous session, I gave you an assignment, correct? Which I told you to write the answer in your one number book and teacher is going to discuss the answer with you. So, have you all written the answers? Come on, let us discuss and you are going to take the correct answer in your book okay rearrange the letters in the correct order to make a new word first word which is unscramble what is that yes it is a triangle second word what it is it is a square third word yes it is a circle fourth word it is a rectangle fifth word it is a quadrilateral. So, all of you got correct answers? Yes? Very good. Now, from, we will finish our session here and see you soon in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye.